Penticton. Penticton. Explain that to me, because that for was... somebody who grew up in the United States, I don't really understand what that school was. So in Canada, once you get to a certain age, which is basically 16, you go and play some type of junior. You go play junior A, you go junior A tier two, uh, junior B. You go somewhere and you go play junior because that's the next, and you're either scouted by someone or put on someone's list or drafted by a junior team. Nothing, nada, zero. So I, I, I had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to play, so I quit. How old are you? 17. I, I was 225 pounds out of shape, beer drinking high school kid. I'd quit, I'd quit hockey. You're 17 and you're saying I'm done with hockey. I was heavy and didn't really give a crap. I just was out there having fun. <laughs> I, 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 like, to me, it was, you're supposed to be having fun, and, you know, and, and you know, and I'm sure a lot of people here know that coaches take the fun right out of it, and, and... You, you, you know, need to find, you needed to find the right coach. Right. I'll tell you, when I was sitting at my buddy's place, and my friend Allie Cook tracked me down at his house and said, uh, you know, I talked to these guys, they want to give you a tryout, and... And so I tried to find my equipment, and I found it and put a bag together, and me and him drove up uh, to Penticton together, which is about three hours from, from Vancouver. It was a neat little town, and so uh, I kind of got my, uh, my act together and, and went back into school and, and caught up on all the school I'd been missing. While you're at Penticton? Yeah, playing junior hockey. So it's hockey and school. Yeah, and the coach... Uh, Rick Kozabak was the high school gym teacher and the very, very stern disciplinarian, but fair. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. And, and there was 109 guys trying out for this team. And so, you know, to obviously to pare it down quick, there was no practices. It was just games. And I'd score every game. Well, you had to lie. It's right up your alley. But I had no idea I could do it. And it was then that I all of a sudden learned I could score at will. And it, it went from being a B player and quitting hockey to all of a sudden, this is the easiest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I, I've read where you went from 20th on the roster to rookie of the year. Right. I, I, you know, it kind of finally got pared down to about 12 guys for five or six spots. And the coach just grabbed me and goes, look, I'm keeping you. I, I see something in you, and I'm going to keep you, but I am going to skate your butt off until you get into shape. And, and he did, and I worked hard, and I, I took care of myself and uh, got in shape, and I scored uh, 48 goals and led the team in scoring. And I'm like, what is going on? I am like, this is so weird. But, but for us, it's so... It's so hard to believe that. It's unbelievable. It's, it's hard a true to believe story. a couple sides of it that... A, it just clicked. It, and honest to God. It just, okay, so whatever magic dust was sprinkled right. upon your beautiful golden hair. Before drug testing. Before drug, yeah. I don't know what was in that <laughs> dust, but it okay. made something happen. So now that it's clicked, what's in your mind as far as where this can go? Just before Christmas, I got a letter from Michigan State. And I take it to the coach and I go, what is this all about? <laughs> and he looks at me like I've got three heads, and I'm like, he's like, you're kidding, right? I go, no. And he goes, well, they, they're thinking about bringing you in and giving you a scholarship to play college hockey. Uh, really? <laughs> School again? I'm like, oh, my God. And so, uh, and so I got in great shape, and, I, and I, that year I got 105 goals. And broke every record. Uh, wait, how many, how, many <laughs> how many games, roughly, how many games you play? 50-some. 50, 50 so 50 games, 50-plus 50 games, 105 goals. 105 goals. So is NHL on your mind? I, do no, you not? Now, it's, now I'm like, okay, I'm going to college. Our, our junior coach said you can go visit five schools, you know, if, if you had that kind of opportunity. And it, it kind of still pisses me off to this day uh, that I didn't get to pick the schools. So, because I still was kind of naive. I go, well, you tell me, coach, where should I go? 
I go, you know more about this than me. You've been a coach here for I don't know how many years. And so he sends me to Michigan Tech, Northern Michigan, Colorado College, North Dakota, and the last school I went to was Duluth. University of Minnesota, Duluth. Yeah. I went to Duluth and really fell in love with the town. It's right on the tip of Lake Superior, overlooking the lake. It's just beautiful. And they told me about their program, the, the skating program. And they've, they had incorporated the U.S. Olympic skating program. I talked to your coach, Coach Surtich. Coach Surtich, yeah. And he said that he was doing things or they were doing things that nobody else in the country was doing. He, it was the Olympic kind of aerobic, anaerobic stuff. Right. It wasn't like, you know, you hear about, you know, coaches getting mad and they skate the hell out of their team. It was not like that. It was very, it was for our own good. It wasn't real hard, but it made you it wasn't a skating great just skater. To skate. Right. It was making you a stronger, better, faster, more powerful skater. And that's the main reason I picked Duluth was uh, because of that skating program, and it it helped immensely. But but here's what I love about your coach, Coach Sertich. He told me that he told you at the time, we do not want to sign Bobby Hull's son. We want to sign Brett Hull. Right. That had to be, in some ways, music to your ears. Right. And, he, and he's a wonderful guy. And because even in that video, when you're 13, they're speaking French, but the guy's going, Bobby uh, Hull. Garçon de Bobby Hull. Yeah. And, and, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. that's what you're, you know, you might as well have on the back, Bobby Hull's son. Exactly. Oh, by the way, my name's Brett. I said, you know, you're only ever going to be Brett Hull. You know, you're never going to be Bobby Hull. And why would you ever want to, you know, he is... He was so great. Let him be Bobby Hall. You be Brett Hall and cast your own shadow while keeping one foot in his because there's the proud lineage that I have and very proud of who he was. So why not we just make a giant shadow be between the two of us?